guys, today is a really, really exciting day because Eric graduates from college today, which is huge. It's definitely one of our like big life events. So I wanted to vlog to just have it all on camera to look back on someday because it's just a really important day in our lives. And he actually has finals next week still, which is kind of weird because he graduates today, but technically there will be nothing in the diploma. So he'll have to go take finals next week, but it's still a big step. Right now he's getting a haircut and I came along, but I'm just chilling out in the car listening to my Christmas Spotify playlist, which if you need some good Christmas music, I will link my Christmas playlist below. It's really good. I love music, so there's some good songs on there. For anyone that doesn't really know, Eric has been in college the past five years getting his computer engineering degree and technically four, but he took a year off when we got married. He like totally took a year off of school. So he's been like in the process of school for five years and he has worked a full-time job the entire time, gone to school pretty much full-time and he's worked so hard. He's worked overnights on the weekend and then gone to school during the week and there was even a time when he had to work overnight Monday through Friday and go to school those same days. So like he would get no sleep at night. So I'm just so proud of him. Like I could not be any prouder and I've seen him with all the stuff he has going on and he's like such a strong person. He doesn't like, he doesn't crack under pressure. I don't know if crack's the right word, but whatever people say, that doesn't happen to him. He just keeps himself stable and I'm so proud of him because I would not have been able to do that. He also has done really, really well in school. Like a lot of people get their degree, but it's not like they necessarily did the greatest but he's done so well and some of his professors have even asked him to come back and like help work on projects and stuff that they still have going on so I'm just so proud of him also he just got promoted at his job which is so exciting and I am so happy for him it's something that he really wanted okay there's a squirrel staring at me so hard right now <laughs> Anyway, he wanted a position at work a while back and things didn't really work out and we were kind of bummed out about it. But then this better opportunity came along at the same job and he's been there for five years. So it's really cool that he gets to stay at the company he's been with for five years because he's already made a name for himself and he already knows everybody there for the most part. So guys, the squirrel is the cutest. Is he not so cute? He's getting so fat for winter or she, I don't know. He's chewing on a little nut but before it was literally on this tree just staring at me. For some reason, Eric and I have this fascination with squirrels and we both think they're so cute. <laughs> he would probably hate that I'm saying that about him, but it's true. We get a lot of squirrels in our backyard and they're just so cute. And for a while we would leave peanuts out on the deck for them, but I'm pretty sure raccoons got them. I just think they're so cute. We give them names and stuff. And even though it's probably a different squirrel every single time, it has the same name every time. So yeah, we're weird, but we think squirrels are cute. So back to the graduation stuff, Eric got four tickets to his graduation. So I'm going, his parents are both going, and then my mom is gonna go. And we don't really know, well, we kind of know what to expect because his brother actually just graduated last semester. So his parents went to that, but we're so excited. Look at that nice haircut. Eric said he gave the guy an extra tip today. For Christmas. <laughs> Why does everyone need to know that? I don't know. You're just such a nice person. Eric's always so nice about tipping people. Like, even if they do a bad job, he gives them a nice tip. We're back home, and I thought I would show our tree because I haven't even shown it yet. I filmed like a whole video of us decorating the tree, and then I never even ended up putting it up because I didn't have time to edit it. And then now it's like halfway through December, so I just figure it's too late. I might still put it up. I don't know. This is our tree. We love it. I know like white lights are the trendy thing to do now. Oh, also some of our lights went out like the first week, but we love colored lights. My grandma and aunt, which is where we usually do Christmas or where I always did it growing up, always did colored lights on their tree. So I love colored lights. And if I ever have a house where I'll have two trees, I would do one with white lights, but while we just have one, I love this. Like the colored lights with just a bunch of random ornaments. I just think it's so special. So we have like 
ornaments that we collect from places we go. So my parents gave Eric this ornament last year because he loves the Cubs. This one we got when we were in Panama City Beach and I love it. It's like clear, but it's kind of like a rainbow. And then there's sand and little shells and like a bucket and stuff in there. I think it's so cute. This one is so funny looking. I'm pretty sure I got this in like third grade somewhere for Sunday school. Yeah, it says 2003 on the back. So that one's pretty old. This one might be my new favorite. It's Santa in a kayak and we got it on our Outer Banks trip. So it's the first year that one's on our tree. And I think it's so cute because Eric and I love kayaking. So when we saw this, we knew we had to get it. When we had our wedding shower, a lady she actually like attached this to the gift and it's a little ornament and she cut out the picture that was on our wedding invitation and put it in here so I think it's so cute this one is also from Outer Banks and it's just a little glass thing with a bunch of shells and stuff in it this is from my great aunt and uncle and it was always on my parents tree growing up but now my mom gave it to me for my tree it says baby's first Christmas but that was definitely not my first Christmas this one my cousin Ashley gave it to me in 1996 I don't know what happened there, but I was one. So thanks, Ashley. It's on my tree now. This is a little Elsa ornament that I also keep on this front side of the tree, but one of my friends gave it to me because I used to dress up as Elsa and do birthday parties. So she saw that and bought it for me. I think it plays music too, but I haven't put a battery in it, so. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Oops. My mom gave us this one, I'm pretty sure. This is like a little bobber and it's from my cousin's church, her Christmas Eve service a couple years ago. And I didn't think I was gonna keep it. It was kind of just like a souvenir of the service, but we had hardly any ornaments on our tree that year, so I kept it. And then this was just like a random dog ornament that was on our tree and my mom took it and I didn't know. And she wrote Maddie on it because we have our special ornaments and she didn't have any so my mom made it for her so that's pretty much all of our special ornaments and then we have just a bunch of random ones from target and stuff and candy canes but i love our tree i love having random ornaments because like they all mean something and then it's more special to decorate the tree we're on our way to the graduation we're picking up eric's parents right now my mom and i are in the back we're excited eric's like not even excited for the graduation <laughs> He's just excited because he doesn't have to work tonight. But he looks so handsome. We have his gown hanging here. There's his graduation cap with an orange tassel. Looks like a mess, but it's gonna be fun. We're walking in. Eric's getting all ready. And my mom is here and his parents. How do you feel? Excited? I'm excited to get it over with. Yeah. <laughs> just wants to get out of here <laughs> hey guys it's actually a few days later but Eric and I never got a good picture at his graduation because it was just kind of like dark and stuff in the gym so I literally put on the same outfit so we can get a good picture right now with him in his cap and gown how does it feel to be done with school almost yeah almost I still have today's Tuesday I still have a final tomorrow which it's actually a pretty important final so right now in my mind I won't be done until that so it was it was kind of like anticlimactic. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Climatic. Yeah. <laughs> to have the graduation on Saturday because everyone was all cheering and everything all excited, but I knew I still had finals to do. Well, it everyone was like did. Like teasing you guys. <laughs> yeah. So I kind of wish the graduation would have been after finals. It would have been more 
real, I guess, but yeah, obviously it's still exciting. Yep. Well, I'm a proud wife. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching Eric graduate from college. And don't forget to subscribe, of course, if you want to see more videos. And click the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post a video. And I will see you with a new video soon. Bye, guys.